Hi, my name is Dimas, and in this video, we're gonna make a query for finding a user. So this is our endpoint. It's making GraphQL query, and the query it look like this. Uh, with find user, take one argument of ID, and it's returning one data, one user like this uh, the database is using mongodb and we're gonna make a query for finding one user by an id so how are we gonna make it let's jump in i have user resolver here and user service uh, we're just gonna make from this two of the file the first one we're gonna make a service first for the users so we're gonna make a function I make an asynchronous function we're gonna name it find one is for find user finding one user I'm gonna take one parameter of ID and the data type of number I'm gonna make a promise returning of one user like this and it's very simple actually we just gonna return make it an await for this user repository We're gonna access user repository it's from the repository of type ORM that connecting us to MongoDB with the name of the collection user so user repository and it's making function of find one this is type rn function that provided to us and we're gonna find it where the id is id of the input of the argument we're gonna make underscore here because our in our mongodb database is underscore id and just like this we're gonna save it we're gonna go to user software and here's we're gonna make the query that's very simple actually we're gonna name it query and we're gonna assign it so it will return to us a user a one user we're gonna make asynchronous to and the name of our query is find user or finding one user And we're gonna take one argument actually. Okay. We're gonna name it ID. So we're gonna take one argument and there is ID with the type of ID. This imported from type GraphQL type ID and the ID because it's from GraphQL it's string make it a promise and return it one user and just like this Oh, um, make a typo there. Let's return a value. Okay, so we're gonna return a value here. Very simple. Make it an await, and this we're gonna access the user surface from this file. User surface. 
then we can access the find one function that we already have make it and parse an argument this id because this is a string and we expected a number here because all of our id is a number so from the resolver we're gonna parse it into an integer id just like this we're gonna save it and it's automatically running for us and we're gonna wait it and it's done so to the graphql we're gonna start from the from the scratch uh, we're gonna look it so we have a find user and we take an id take an id of one for example and i want the data of id name email um, religion maybe uh, age gender like this and run it and we have it we have holy good tree here with the religion of christian and age of 24 and it's male for example uh, ID of 50 and also have it and that's it that's the query and how to make it thank you